I recently went online to ask people to recommend a film that me and my mates could watch. You know, one of those films that's so bad that actually it's pretty good. And that's when someone recommended this. For the longest time, I thought this film didn't actually exist. And all because I couldn't see the D. That's what she said! It's not The Gingerbread Man, as I've been looking up for weeks. Me and my mates watched The Ginger Dead Man, so you don't have to. It's got puns, it's got... Is it Gary Boosie? Tell me that's Gary Boosie! I fucking know Gary Boosie, man! <laughs> yes, that is Gary Boosie. What more could you ask for? So it opens up with Busey himself shooting a waitress and and just look at him. He is born to play a madman. Literally, they could not have cast anyone better. Kitty. Ooh, kitty. Hey, kitty. What? Oh, no. Ooh, kitty. Kitty. Ooh, kitty. I bet that wasn't even in the script. No, Gary, yeah. stop being crazy, yeah. mate. <laughs> no, they just won't Take another line, mate. You'll be all right. <laughs> Don't need a script, Gary. Just be Gary. <laughs> By the way, check out this random guy in the diner. I love the fact you can literally see the packets of fake blood in his hands. It reminds me of that scene in Dumb and Dumber. Let me see you. Because it makes a It literally was that. Why is she wearing a jumper? Why is she wearing a <laughs> short skirt? Within just a few minutes of the film, Gary Busey makes a run for it before the police show up. And that is it. Yeah, that's literally his on screen time. Easiest paycheck ever. Well, Unless you're Vin Diesel, who reportedly earned $54.5 million for saying three words. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Oh no, wait, wait, my bad. He also says we are Groot. But anywho, back to the Ginger Dead Man. Take a guess at the budget. I don't know. $94. $94. Very high, but he used it on cocaine. Yeah, exactly. And they had to use whatever was left. So that white powder. I'm just measuring cups. They just filmed Gary Pierce's trailer. Trailer, yeah. By the way, longest credits ever. It's probably worth noting that this is a really short film. Like, we're talking just over an hour. And yet the credits literally go on for like, probably five, six minutes, maybe more. I'm pretty sure there is more credits than there is Busey. <laughs> when the credits do finally end, we see Sarah. You know, the girl that he didn't kill in the diner? Yeah. That one. Uh, it turns out she testified against Busey, sending him to the chair. Now we know this thanks to some convenient newspaper cuttings. Happy birthday, big brother. I almost forgot. I guess we won't be driving to Dallas to celebrate the big 2-1 after all, huh? Whoever you are up there, I hope they have strippers and Lone Star. That's a weird thing to say to your brother, right? I hope they have strippers. I hope there's meth where you are, brother. I hope there's orgies. Ah, there's a delivery. Grandma's gingerbread seasoning is delivered by... <laughs> someone from Harry Potter? And that's when we meet her colleague, Brick, an aspiring wrestler. A mosh pit of tag team damage and body slammage. Mm. Wow, yeah, I love him already. He's going to be the lovable light. Yeah. 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 Kitchen. Today would have been Jeremy's birthday. He wanted to spend it at the titty bar. Your dad putting on his apron, pounding the dough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 
<laughs> oh, heck. Oh, don't move, Brick. Being the adorable goofball he is, Brick ends up cutting his hand open and bleeds all over the gingerbread mix. You big goof. Do you want me to take you to a doctor? <sighs> the butcher baker needs no doctor. He can always take the heat. <laughs> I ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> Next up, we're introduced to the attractive friend, Juliet, who explains that Busey's ashes were sent to his mother. Okay, the pieces are starting to fit together. It also says here that after they fried him in the chair, they cremated him and sent his ashes to his mother in Coonsboro. How sick is that? Here's the owner of the bakery outside, drunk, you know, shooting away at a new restaurant she thinks is going to put them out of business. The usual. Oh, and she has got an amazing aim, by the way. See? <laughs> that ought to teach you. <laughs> Oh, well, them bastards think they can just come in here and take over, Sarah. We're not gonna let them. I think maybe you've had enough of walking into this sleep. Oh, now you looking to get fired, girl. Mom, why don't you go home and get some rest? Mom? It's a push. She must have been 70 when she had her. Jesus. She's had a hard time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The casting agent, you know you're supposed to be 35, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I am 35. Right. Listen to me, Mom. You and Dad built this place from the ground on up, and there's no way I'm going to let anyone take that away from you. I promise. I promise. Are we going to talk about how unbothered Sarah is that this old lady is going around shooting a gun? You know, like it's usual Tuesday night behaviour. Remember that gingerbread mix that Brick bled on? Yeah, that starts to come alive. Take my hand. Ah, come on. You're gonna fall unless you take my hand. No, give me your other hand. Cue the owner of the new restaurant who is not impressed that his banner has been shot down. You know, forget the fact that she's literally waving a gun and shooting outside. The banner is the problem here. What the hell did you do to my banner? Well, I didn't... No, you, just, you listen here, girl. I'm from from where you wish. From where you wish. From where you wish. And here's the daughter of the new restaurant owner. Y you can just tell she's clearly written as the bitch character because, you know, every story needs one. Mm. Did I tell you she was just named Miss Pretty Face of Waco? It's only the 10th time you've reminded me. You know, with my help, Lona's gonna make something of herself. Be a big star. I can it help won't. finance him. <laughs> <laughs> I will talk my oh, whole She life. heard you. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do well, you think about my offer, you hear? $50,000. That'd make it so you and your drunk mama don't have to bust your humps. Why don't you hold her breath? Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It's time for the big reveal of the ginger dead man. Wait for it. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> My in on what? Lorna, I've been waiting in that car forever for you. You said you was just gonna leave a note. And here's the boyfriend of the daughter of the new restaurant owner. He's clearly written as the dick because again, 
Every story needs one. What the hell went on in here? Oh, the t-shirt, pulled my finger, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like that kind of stereotype. No, oh, does he actually? Oh, oh my god! He was skipping. What in the hell was that thing? I don't know. Well, it looked like a gingerbread man. That's what I was baking. What are you getting? Okay. MC Hammer. <laughs> Place your bets out of everyone we have seen in the film so far. Who do you think is going to be the first victim? Generators right through here? Yeah. I wish you put that kind of way. Yeah, it's probably a good idea, mate. Yeah, maybe yeah. a pointer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, this gun? <laughs> Why should I put this gun away? <laughs> okay. It's just going to go off with his bum. But he's in his cell. He's in his cell. He's in his cell. That was so innocent. It's going to go off with his bum. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're trying to do something with the plot here, like a oh, love triangle. Oh, Whoa. Did you not see the whole him doing this flirting thing? Like, look at him doing that. I'm so cool right now with my eyebrows. The scriptwriter is doing like something. <laughs> Yeah, I think at this point the alcohol had kicked in. Back to the film. Lana? Since we last saw the ginger dead man, it would seem he's developed opposable thumbs. I don't know, that's the only way I can explain him doing this. <laughs> Anus! Oh, you oh, don't well. say he's driving the car. Yes. Serious? No, yes. no. Yes. no. <laughs> <laughs> so I drive. Oh my god! I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rolling pin. How is it rolling pin? Shocked by the fact that it was a gingerbread man. I just like the way he plays for 
<laughs> the gang find a mysterious trail of blood because, again, every horror film needs one. So let's play Whose Blood Is It? Place your bets. Look at this. Now, I think at this point, the writer realised that people probably don't have a clue what's going on. Uh, you know, who is this gingerbread man? Why is he out to get these characters? But don't worry, because this character is literally going to spell it out. The guy that killed Jamie and your daddy, that you helped send to the electric chair, Millard Finlemeyer. Has come back from the dead to get revenge on you. Inside a cookie. Why nurse him? I mean, why not a doctor? Hell, be a surgeon. Smart, pretty girl like you can be whatever she wants. It takes about 45 minutes for one of these characters to finally say something intelligent. We have got to get out of here. Hey, come on, finally! Finally! Nobody's leaving. We're sticking together. Well, all of you need. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> There's an idea. <laughs> that would make sense. I can't leave unless you two do. <laughs> well, we ain't leaving without <laughs> you. Open <laughs> fresh fucker. What the hell is that? It suddenly turned into Home Alone. Oh! oh! Right in there. How did she get that in? Oh, she, she could be okay. <laughs> I fucking booby trapped by the exit. Okay, so. He's what? Are you checking for booby traps? <laughs> <laughs> so are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm just say, he just said there's booby traps. <laughs> Honest to God, I'm just checking for booby traps. <laughs> Despite our villain being this fragile little cookie, which I dare say could, you know, be snapped quite easily, it looks as though the ginger dead man is going to get his revenge. I see a sappy love story brewing. Looking for this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Baby, it's all over but the crying. Bridge. Here I come to save the day. I was driving after Ressapalooza, saw you guys through the windows. Quick, you gotta get out of here. Don't worry, I can handle this. Now it's time to meet your maker. 
prepare to face the butcher baker. For tonight, your ass is toast. Gotta be shitting me. Let's finish this. Oops. Oh, he's bad on time. How's he shooting? In his armpit. He's still on his armpit. Like a T Rex. No. Hey! Oh my god, now he's wrestling. Oh. You just bite him! Whoa! He, he might not be edible. He's being a punk food. I'm not punk food! Yeah. 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 No, 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 yeah, you are. Oh, oh. That wasn't cookie texture, though. That's his blood anyway. Mm. It's all right. It's all right. It's his blood. It's, mm. it's his fault, technically. Oh. Kiki boy. Kiki and now they kiss. Cat milk. Cat milk. Save room for dessert, because I'm coming back for you. Pepsi oh, commercial with a diet and Look at her, look at him now, though. She's like, oh, you're so sexy. So, now we know who's most macho, huh? Butcher. Baker. <laughs> yeah. Butcher Baker. Alright. So there you have it. A gross, but happy ending. But wait! There's more! <laughs> Oh, hi, Simon. Hi, Craig. Hi, do you have any gingerbread cookies? Not if you're lucky, I don't. Actually, an older lady stopped by just a few minutes ago and dropped off some of these cute little rascals. Couldn't you just die? <laughs> Why do they have googly eyes? Wow. Oh, no, this is the actual music video. <laughs> oh, they're doing the thing. Robin Sydney. Are we gonna watch? Can we watch next? Can we? 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 Including. What did you do? What? You heard right. That video is coming soon. Please do check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>